Hey guys, this is iTouch242. Um, I have a new video for you guys, obviously. Sorry about not making one forever. I've just been bogged down with the school and everything. So, today I'm going to teach you how to get album artwork for your iTunes library very easily. Um, it's uh, a lot easier than the copy and paste method that I had told you guys to do on my podcast. I don't know if you had been following that or not. So I just wanted to tell you a brand new way. I don't know if any of you guys know this, but I just kind of found this out on my own uh, recently. So I have to find a song <laughs> that doesn't have the album artwork for it. So once I do, I'll be right back. All right. Okay, I've got my song. It is Smooth Criminal, the remake by Alien Ant Farm. So, what you're going to want to do is uh, make sure you have the song name, the artist name, and the album name all filled in correctly. Because uh, what it does, iTunes goes out and into its own store and grabs it from their... Uh, huge library so you want to make sure that everything's spelled right or else it won't be able to find it so an easy way to do that is go to the iTunes store and type in your song I already did that so um, then you're gonna look down where the, all the songs are listed and find the correct one Smooth Criminal by Alien Ant Farm right here the album name is Anthology Anthology so um, with that in mind, go back to your music library and right click on the song and press get info and go to the info tab. And this is where you can edit all the information about your songs all at one time rather than just uh, <coughs> clicking on the field in your actual library. I find it a lot easier, but uh, so you can also edit the song name and artist name from this menu so I'm gonna type in and why isn't it capitalizing and anthology sorry so then just go down to the bottom and click OK and then this is the last step you're just going to right click on the highlighted song and press get album artwork it'll be the first from the bottom down here so click that and it'll go and it's actually really fast and now instead of a blank iTunes icon like this one right here you have the official album artwork and it is sized correctly so it won't look all blown up and pixelated on your iPod like it sometimes happened with uh, the copy and paste one so that's the easiest way to do it and uh, once you once you get that for your entire library it'll look really cool uh, especially if you have an iPod touch or an iPhone I still have a ton of songs to go through on mine, but if you have all of these filled in, it'll look really uh, neat on your co uh, flover. Can't talk. Cover flow, <laughs> and <laughs> um, you'll be able you'll be able to navigate <laughs> through that menu a lot easier. So thanks for tuning in. Um, sorry, I haven't made a video in a while. I'm using my converted iTunes or uh, iToy camera as a camera this time instead of my regular camcorder because it's a lot sharper when you're filming the computer screen. So let me know what you think of that. And uh, thanks for thanks for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe. Thank you for all the people who have already subscribed. I've been getting a ton of subscribers lately. So thank you. Bye.